looks fine. Thank you. <laughs> you guys just playing a killer set at the smell. And you guys are kind of joking about like it being a, a high school dance or whatnot, and, <laughs> and I, th I found it interesting because when I hear your music, it, it pulls me back. I'm older, as you can tell. It pulls me back to like Pretty in Pink, like a John Hughes movie. Yeah, like you yeah. guys could be the music in one of those movies in, at that time. That's period. the highest compliment. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of one awesome. of our dreams to play to play at a prom. So. Yeah. yeah, we actually got offered to sort of play like a pre prom prom party, but yeah. we, couldn't, we couldn't do it. So next time, this girl was like gonna tell her girlfriend she's gonna invite her girlfriend to prom and she wanted us to play a show and then she like come on stage and like invite her to prom. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. I know, but it was like, it was, <laughs> it was, it, it was the same last minute, it was far away, so I couldn't do it. But, well, the thing is, it's like, I, I'd like to know your influences, but I hear, I think of bands like Spandau Ballet, you know, and, yeah. and some of those old school bands. Um, and, and that kind of thing. And what's funny about it is, you know, you guys use a drum machine. Which, how much do you like that? Not having to carry a kid around. Oh, so yeah. tight. No, it was kind of a requirement. We're not. Yeah. yeah. We would probably break up before getting a drummer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but uh, you know, it's funny because like in the late night, like 1990, early 2000s, drummers were trying to sound like drum machines anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. No, it's true. You know I mean, a lot of I feel like a lot of bands use like triggers and stuff. Right. You know? But I think people think like seeing someone playing drums like on stage is more entertaining, but. I don't know, it's yeah. kind of fun. I like the drum machine. I love the way it sounds. It yeah. sounds it yeah, sounds, it sounds awesome. Great. And your bass is so percussive. You got this yeah. percussive plucky sound that awesome. just fills it out. Yeah. I mean, it cool. sounds good. So what are your influences? Oh, uh, I feel like lately I'm just, I always just want to sound like the Cocteau Twins, like guitar-wise. Yeah. Like as big and as lush as possible. It's uh, very, it is very lush. But it sounds... it's like the like crappy, punky version of it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. They're like one of my favorite bands. And like, I like a lot of stuff from the 90s, mainly actually. So. Things like, I don't know, things like that, I guess. <laughs> what about you? I don't know. I like... Shit. What are your bass influences? My bass influences? Obviously Peter Hook, obviously yeah. Homeboy from Cocktoo Twins. But one of my biggest is kind of like a weird thing to say. It's kind of passe, maybe. The Homeboy from Honest Mills. Oh, I never even thought about that. My favorite that. bass player. Yeah. Well, that's he's like, like, yeah, he's like also plus like percussive. Right, right. That's yeah. That's yeah. like is... the reason I love that band. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, like, sometimes the, the plucky sound almost sounds like a synth bass on your, on your bass. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's it chorus. sounds awesome. It's a chorus. Yeah, Thanks it's a mark. chorus. Okay. Oh, I guess chorus is like our biggest influence. Yeah. <laughs> Just adding a bunch of chorus to every instrument. Yeah. 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 My keyboard runs through chorus once. Your your influence is yeah. an effect pedal. Yeah, yeah. it is one pedal. <laughs> um, I guess my biggest influence is probably Billy Idol, but this is like a, it's kind of like a huge influence in my life. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know, like uh, I really like Human League and like Oh, Human League, yeah. Matt Benatar and I don't know, it's yeah, yeah, and. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's interesting too because you know <laughs> Arcade Fire is kind of a their new album has that real you know Brian Ferry ish Talking Heads. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah late 1979 yeah. feel and so yeah. that kind of plays in with your sound. I mean it's it's that dance thing is coming back thankfully. Yeah. yeah. I like a lot of 70s music. Yeah. I feel like yeah like for a while it's like oh yeah like I like all these 80s bands like but lately I've been listening to more like yeah. 70s we just keep stuff. throwing it back further and further. <laughs> yeah I know eventually we're gonna be like mud hippies yeah, <laughs> yeah. just kidding uh, <laughs> yeah our new song has like a harp in it so yeah we didn't play that we're experimenting with that yeah. a real harp well, no, it's a kind of harp. <laughs> it's a harp. It's a yeah, sample of like, I thought maybe you guys knew a harp. Kind of like, like a disco thing. Yeah. Where there's like harps and like uh, strings and stuff like awesome. that. Awesome. I don't know. All over the place, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I just like song. I don't know. I'm yes. a fan of like songs. Like fu like fully realized songs. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah, we're right. We want to write pop songs. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. That's what it is. They think could about. be in. They could exist in a prom universe. <laughs> so. Hopefully someday that will be a, a big goal. Bar, bar mitzvah, yeah, whatever you want. We'll do it. <laughs> so what? Uh, what? Do you have any upcoming gigs you want to mention or or, um, pro or projects? We're playing. What day is it? Sa Sunday. No, that's today. That's today. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you mean the the June, show. the June show? Where is that? We're playing at Silver Lake Lounge on. Uh, a uh, day, we'll find out right now. Yeah, find out. Look up Dunes. They okay, well, it's their, it's I'll find it. Their comeback show. Yeah, I'll find it. Playing with Dunes yeah. at Summer Lake Lounge on a Tuesday, the... May eighth. Okay, so... your new song. I have to ask you about <laughs> that. The title, because oh, that so was pretty sad. funny, you know. Every, but it, the song kicked ass. I mean, it. it from I know you guys consider yourself a. You know, you said, "Hey, we're mellowing out," but that wasn't a very chill song. I mean, that had some. 
some really the, good. The oh, second yeah. to last song or the, the Ghost, Ghost Dad. Dad. Okay. So oh, I gotta ask you about the name. It's it's actually it's a Bill Cosby movie. It's yeah, well, exactly. Exactly. That. No, I didn't know that you know before that, that post. Really? Hey. Oh, hey, being, what are you guys doing? We're being interviewed right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. I'll see you later. Something? No, okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Keep it cracked if you want. Oh no, we're locked out. Should we tell them the truth? Oh, there's like a in our practice space. There's a Ghost Dad movie poster in this practice space. Yeah. So we were just like, just like quickly like, oh, let's like name this song just so we could like have a title for it. It's probably a temporary title, but we're not sure. Yeah. yeah. So there's okay, no meaning to it. Hopefully it's safe. It's just like a, we have we have a blank check poster and a Ghost Dad poster in our and practice space. Anime. In a weird anime poster. And what's his name? Not Burt Reynolds, the other guy. Oh, um, Tom. We have a Tom, Tom Selleck Selle. poster. Looking okay, good. <laughs> looking real good. Yeah. So <laughs> with the big stash. We yeah, we had a hologram, but it got stolen back. So we were just like staring at a poster and named the song that. Yeah. There's no meaning to it. It's Very, just like, silly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a silly name. We might change it, but. It, it's, I think it might have to stick. It's just for now. Yeah. I don't know. It's catchy, I guess. Well, I want to thank you guys for uh, chatting with me for a minute. Oh. Yeah, okay. No and good luck yeah. on all the future projects. Yeah. Thank you.